uh, about Defender, is there any way to make a toggle that reverts the registry changes? It does a lot more than reverting registry changes. It deletes files, and those files need to be regenerated, and the only way to regenerate them is through like a DISM restore health and copying them directly off of a Windows install media. It's, it's a pretty involved process to getting it back once it gets stripped out, much like it edges as well. That's why I'm like, I'm just going to stop giving scripts to delete Defender and Edge because many people have contacted me like, hey, I did this and now I need to go back. And I'm like, reinstall. <laughs> I mean, uh, trying the DISM way is possible, but probably, you know, most people don't even know how to use the tool much less use it properly. Yeah, no, no, I'm with you. I, I'd love to, if there was an easy way to just disable Defender, I'd say the best thing for most users I'd recommend is a disable Defender. And I've been looking at this project. It's really interesting. It's called Disable Defender, or no, Defender Control, I think is what it is. Uh, I've actually started over here. Here, I'll link it in chat. It's a really cool one where you can enable and disable Defender and it does a really good job and it's not very intrusive. I might link to this one because they've done a great job with uh, how they're doing it. I'm still I'm still uh, on the fence about it just because, man, I just don't want to deal with the hate <laughs> from disabling it. But yeah, this is the one I use. Yeah, Sortem actually has some pretty good stuff too. I've used, I think I've used their, they have an update blocker too that's pretty decent. So, don't know if I'd recommend it, but it's there. If, if, if you're, you know, IT person, I'd say go for it. If you're not and you're just kind of, an average computer user, I wouldn't use any of these that I'm talking about right now. Yeah, and that's the big thing, uh, Gandalf, is knowing your stuff. <laughs> Many people don't. A lot of people go and like, oh, you know what? I need to, I need that new hack tool for this game. I'm gonna go download it and run it as admin. And that's what most people do. That's why I'm always like, no, you, you need something. <laughs> you need some form of protection here. <laughs>